The SIF or Student Information Form is required in order for you to be admitted to any Maricopa Community College. You will need your MEID, Student ID, Proof of Citizenship, your Residency Status Information, and your Academic Plan. A central purpose of the SIF is to determine your residency status and tuition rate. These rates are calculated at different levels, so it is crucial that this form be completed correctly and on time. Be sure to plan ahead. Before starting the SIF, you will need your MEID and student ID number. If you do not have these yet, please click on this embedded link to see a video on how that is done. Once logged into your student center, locate and click the admissions link. Here is where you will begin selecting your college, program of study, and the term you would like to attend. Your program of study options are degree and certification programs or non-credit. If you are taking classes for personal enrichment only, select the non-credit option. However, most students aim for a degree or certificate of some kind. Even if you are planning to transfer these credits to another institution, select the degree and certification programs option. Next, select the semester you intend to start your first class. The standard semester terms are fall, spring, and summer. After finishing this page, click Next. This page is for residency and citizenship verification as required by Prop 300. For more information about residency and citizenship, click the Resources link and read the information provided there. Click Continue when finished. On this page, we ask for some personal information, such as your ethnicity, level of education, and any services that you might need while attending college. The Maricopa Community Colleges are very committed to student success and helping students meet their educational goals. Your response to these questions is important to us. It will help our student services staff better understand and assist you. Next is your military and residency information. Along with your citizenship status, this page will be crucial in determining your eligibility for in-state tuition. Pay close attention to Will you reside in Arizona at the time of attendance? If you answer yes, you will be presented with several follow-up questions. If you were born in Arizona, the date of your present stay began is your birth date. If you were not born in Arizona, you will need to enter the date that you moved to Arizona. You will also need to enter the state that you most recently lived in prior to Arizona and also the current county in Arizona where you live. If you cannot remember the exact day that you arrived in Arizona, enter the month and year and enter the first day of that month. If you answer that you will not be residing in Arizona at the time of attendance, you will be considered out of state. You should be aware that special state authorizations are required to serve out of state students. Next are questions about your educational goals. The first question relates to the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program. It offers reduced tuition to a very specific group of students from certain states. In order to verify that your response to this question is correct, please visit this website. Back at your SIF Educational Goals page, your academic plan code is needed next. You should have that already written down on your student organizer sheet. Once in place, an academic plan and code cannot be changed without staff assistance. Changes may affect your financial aid, and so it is very important to seek help if you want to make any changes whatsoever to your academic plan. Meet with an academic advisor if you need any help. The next page confirms that you are finished. A message may appear that your residency status is currently set to out of state. This means that you still need to submit your supporting documents for residency to your college. Residency documents may be faxed, mailed, emailed, or submitted in person to the Admissions and Records Office. Remember that in-state tuition is something that has to be worked for. It is not automatically granted. Pay close attention and do the follow-up work as required. Until the process is complete, you will continue to be considered an out-of-state student and be charged out-of-state tuition. As a final measure, it is a good idea to verify your SIF. Go to your student center and locate the admissions section. You should see your college admission information in the active programs table. 
The SIF or Student Information Form is required in order for you to be admitted to any Maricopa Community College. It determines your residency status and tuition rate. After completing your SIF, you can then go to your online student center and start registering for classes. Click on the link within this YouTube video to view a tutorial on how to do this.